Mm -hmm. Hello, that's oh, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have a conversation. Yes, yes, yes. I'm entirely off camera, my good sir. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, just... That was a hint. That was a hint, good Reginald. Now, I just say, what a good smashing day for a good smashing time. Hello, everybody out in the YouTube bus. We are the Super Spears Brothers. Uh, Quimby, you turned into Quimby there for a second. <laughs> Hello, we are the Super we Spears. We are the Super Spears Brothers. <laughs> we are here to brother all your spears. You're getting confused between uh, um, that guy now and like it's just like an alien robot. No, I was, I, we was are... do I was doing an alien robot version of Quimby as played by the actor who did JFK and Clone High. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Clone High. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the, uh... Shut up! Okay. Alright, computer, give me a game! Brandon, your game is uh, okay. uh, No! 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 What?! Cue the previous footage. Ah! 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 Uh, that's You're gonna, gonna get, like, S Super Smash Brothers Brawl or something. Your game is Jekyll and Hyde. The Nintendo Computer Machine. Not funny. Play and comply. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we've got the one that the internet hates and the one that I hate, um, which is the one that I'm defending, of course. <laughs> you know, though, I think I can. Even though everybody thinks that Jekyll and Hyde is like the worst game ever for the NES, I think I can defend it against Amagon. Um, but here's the thing: we got to get to the gameplay to decide. So let's jump to the gameplay. <laughs> This music. You know, I- Oh god, it gets worse, I forgot. <laughs> I kind of like this music, despite the fact that that man- Like it's- but, um, I've never always been confused, so, is he way <laughs> in the foreground? But, like, why does he appear to be on the same level of a- Or was he in a very tiny plane? Yeah, I guess. Maybe that's why it crashed, it was too small to support his weight. He really comes from that Guys, island right what there. what you're looking at in this picture is the entirety of the plot for this game. I do like the little monster in the O. Also, he's clearly got, um, <laughs> What's the opposite of Moose Knuckle? Uh, Camel Toe? He's clearly got a bit of Camel Toe in there. Okay. Also, you have ammo! Why do you have ammo?! <laughs> this, we played this before. He looks like he's playing, carrying a very tiny mandol- or very oddly shaped mandolin. Yeah. Rather than carrying like a shotgun against like his- It's the power of music. Brown cloth. Like what is that that he's even carrying? Oh What's god. What's he wearing? I don't- it's a onesie. Is he a baby? Oh! Yeah. Life hacks. I also love that the enemies at the top have no impact at all. They're just- No, they're just there to take up like, like processing power. They have- Ah! Ah! Figs! Figs? Fires. The one thing I'll say that's good about this game, and people <laughs> will probably notice if they didn't play it, <laughs> is it's actually got like kind of nice, colorful graphics. Like I kind of wish the game itself was better. The, yeah, that's the, the graphics are a little blocky, but they are pretty good for this era of Nintendo. Yeah, for like a third party. Like they've got yeah. character. Yeah, it has way more character than like a lot of like third party NES games. Yeah, and if character mattered, worth shit. Yeah. <laughs> then, then we would say this was a good game. Well, like, this game seems like, okay, you know, we're running through force, fighting monsters, you have a gun, you get the, the cool power-up, we become large. There's a lot to say about this game that's good in theory. It's just somehow incredibly aggravating. I, it's, I, it, it, the problem with this game is its difficulty doesn't curve. No. It's just impossible. It's just a brick wall from the start. It's not like it starts off easy and gets hard, or even starts off hard and then, like, you gain abilities to make it easier. It starts off difficult and maintains that same level of difficulty. Yeah, the jumping is super snappy and uncomfortable. Like, it just sort of, uh, I don't know, you just sort of, like, teleport upwards. Yeah, also the, like, like, I'm, I'm like, what? Uh, there appears to be basically one level. Like, they're, like, yeah. with slightly different design. There's nothing really interesting about the level design as you go through it. It's pretty bland. It's basically this and then, like, a red background. And here's the worst part about this game, as far as I'm concerned, and I think you can agree with this. And despite the fact this is the game you have to defend, you can agree, this is probably the worst thing. Is that ammo? Let's talk about ammo for yeah, a second. Yeah, let's talk about ammo for a second. You know, ammo works in games where you have, like, multiple different types of weapons or something like that. Like, oh hey, I have, like, 50 bazooka rounds, I better save no. those. No. 
but you have one gun. And, and if you run out, that's it. And I came out how I used my power. Slapped. There you go. See, this is cool. This is the coolest part of the game, and even that doesn't really work. Because then you just uh, do well, that. Well, you just stand there punching the boss. He doesn't do anything. And if you use the item at any other point, you waste it. Uh, the ammo doesn't like return like from level to level. It doesn't like if you die, it doesn't come back. No. You, this is all the ammo you have ah, for shit. the entire game. No, and if you die, and you go back to a checkpoint, yeah. like that ammo is just wasted. So if you die in the first level, honestly, this is one of those games where you should just turn the game off and start again. Yeah, because as soon as you've done wasted a few shots, like you have to hope you find enough ammo to f be defeat the game after that. Yeah, which you're probably not. The jumping is so weird too. It's, I know it just stops dead. Oh, okay. Can I try? Can yeah. I try? Fuck it. And once you get game over, that's it. Game's over. There's no continues. Three lives. So can Deal you get? With it. Can also, you get... why does the game end in a golf course? Did you see that? It's clearly a golf course. Yeah, I know. And this I... song is. I hate it. I, I hate it. It's a nice song. It just repeats so many times. So look, is that a fist with like some hair on it? Yeah. What even is that? It's supposed to be his face? It's, it's his, because uh, there's like little boy mode and then he turns into a man because like a metaphor, I guess. <laughs> it's like a ludic metaphor. It's a ludic metaphor. <laughs> it's a loony ludic metaphor. Yeah, there you go. And if I recall correctly, I remember trying to get to the end of this game and running out of bullets a lot. And yeah. I decided I had to like go underneath all those mushroom men. Yeah, I think those mushrooms are designed specifically just to just, screw just, up the end of the game. Yeah, just to soak up your ammo so you can't win. Yeah, but you won't know you can't win until like 30 minutes later. I think I've mentioned this about another game before, but it strikes me as one of those puzzle games that they had on <laughs> in Nintendo Power Magazine where you could win a prize if you beat them. Yeah. But there was no prize for beating this game. It was just sadness. It was just <laughs> your prize for playing it is feeling bad. Yeah, it's like a it's like a roguelike but without any of the interesting stuff. In what sense is it like a roguelike? In the fact that you die and start from the beginning again, and if you don't manage your resources right from the start, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, it's a resource management sim for like not wasting ammo on mushrooms. Yeah. Which is probably why you should never take mushrooms and go out into the forest with a shotgun. Yeah. Actually, here's a tip, guys. Don't take mushrooms and then walk out into the shot forest with a shotgun. Because that that's a news story waiting to happen. <laughs> I'm not talking anymore. And you're just whining. <laughs> it's like our childhood all over again. Okay, so yes. I've got three hit points, that's enough to beat the boss. That was still too early, I think. Are not, am I not at the boss now? Yeah, but you can use like wait before, then you don't have to worry about it. There. It's yeah. actually possible. He walks backwards after you jump over him, making him, as far as I'm concerned, completely impossible. Thing is, I'm sure you could figure it out if you didn't die in one hit. If you yeah. had, like, three hits, you yeah. could figure out how to, how to walk his a, pattern. There's probably a walking pattern he does that makes it possible to defeat him. We love Ninja Guy and we love Mega Man. More yeah. often this stupid hog bullshit. Yeah, yeah. We, we grew up in the in the era where... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you suddenly became, like, like uh, somebody's Italian mother. Oh, God! Oh, God! Uh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> uh, Violet, today's theme is me doing terrible accents without really trying. Uh, without, like, unintentionally doing terrible accents. Unintentionally doing terrible accents without me even trying really to do any accent in particular. I'm just, like, making noises with my mouth and it comes out as a terrible accent. I, I wish you had said any of that intelligibly, actually. But then Good. it, it kind of added to the... It kind of added to the whole melu. To, to, the, to the melange. Yeah, do, do your... Melange. Do you, uh... Homo what?! The bullet clearly went through that enemy. Do your Homer Simpson impression. <laughs> that wasn't an impression. I just was... I, all I was trying to do was convey to people that Homer Simpson... That, 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 you know what? No one will get this because I'm not doing it again. I got too much ridicule. It's not a Homer Simpson impression. Do! Okay, Toho. You made good Godzilla movies. How do you do with advanced communication? So a oh, strange case, not the strange case. I love this hand. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, it's so hand. it's so cartoonish and ridiculous. It's like okay, sir. okay, bye bye guys. I'm just a hand. I'm gonna leave my house. Well, time for me to walk out. You know, Victorian England's not so much fun these days. I'm I'm just gonna go and everyone's going to just randomly stab me. This this video's in 3D now. Why is it so slow? Oh god. Oh no, I looked. I wasn't watching the screen. Then I looked and I forgot how jagged this is. I kind of, I kind of like the background, just like uh, Amagon. I kind of like. Oh shit! Oh god, no, you're fucked. No, that's okay. I'm... Okay, you somehow survived a bomb, but that's okay. Hello, would you like a taste of my umbrella? Yeah, no, the graphics aren't. Randomly, bad. people, some people stab you and some people don't. 
I, like it makes you want to jump over everyone. This game is really about being a paranoid schizophrenic more than anything. And this one, this one bothered me because I can never get past it. I think I gotta stab it or something. Uh, but your tab is so slow. So slow, and if you hit one of the ladies, they'll just beat you with the umbrella. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, right. And then you delay a few seconds. So this game is notoriously awful because it doesn't explain what you're doing or how it works in any way. It's extremely confusing, and and everything like, about it's somewhat like mysterious and antithetical. Why are the brains on legs? Are they representing his like suppressed psyche or something? Yeah. What? What? It like this are, game? Are, are they? The, are they? The, I think they're the, they're the fry guys from McDonald's. I think so. There you go. I I died somehow. It's really hard to control that segment. And I'm not even sure what you're actually doing. No. Game over. Game over. I'm done. Oh Jesus. I, I the thing about this game is it makes me want to analyze it for some reason. Like I I hate it a lot. Oh, continue, continue. Don't do it up all your continues. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna get to the end of the game and use all the passwords. For this game, uh, we're gonna get some of them passwords this in game, here. Ow! This game does feel a lot worse than Amagon. Like, Amagon feels fine. Yeah. But, can you go indoors or anything? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, you can. Oh, you can hide from people. Oh! Whoa, what? What the, the fuck was that? Like, you're right though, the background art, like, like, those trees are kinda nice. Yeah, and there's some nice pixel art going on here. The, the problem with this game is that not only does it not make sense, it's... it's it's so sluggish and just painful. It, it kind of hurt, actually hurts to look at it. It's kind of hurts to... Just because the, the frame rate, like, it moves exactly one-to-one -one with you, the frame. Yeah, yeah. You notice? So it creates this weird sort of jagged effect whenever you move. Yeah, it does. It does. It, I, I love this part, though. It's like, now you're standing on top of the road. I, yeah, I don't... Are you walking what, on a fence? What? What is this that we're standing... What? And... Stick. And there's clearly guys like at another level, but they're not standing on anything. No, they're standing on absence. And see, that'll piss off the cat, who makes the worst noise in video game history. I like we we've played this game enough times now. We played it uh, three times. Yeah, we lost the footage once. We had to redo some of this. Um, Spoilers. Ah, angry dog. Ah. We've played this game a couple times, and I have to say that it makes almost like only slightly more sense after repeated gameplay yeah like we can get okay so you're like trying we... to not get stabbed too many times so that you don't become angry somehow even yeah. though i'm pretty sure that's not what happened in the book at all no not at all he's um, not the hulk but something about this you so it's so, okay you're so this is like a jekyll and hyde as the hulk yeah and you're trying to avoid getting too angry yeah um, but the bombs don't bother you that somebody's bombing like it's not an emotional anger it's only being hit by animals yeah <sighs> And so certain things trigger other things, but the timing of where everything's placed is pretty much arbitrary. Yeah. Um, I mean, the one thing I will give this over Amagon is it doesn't cause me so much rage. Is it just just kind of? It, it's this is a hurt. Conf this is a deep hurt game. This is Amagon's a... just like a piss you off game. I feel. This is just confusing. That's all it is. It's just kind of like. Yeah. This yeah, like like it doesn't. Sorry, I love this. Oh, well, make sure you lower and, and the Y values. Jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I jumped mid-air, though. Look, jump. Jump and fall. If I jump off the edge, that's how long it takes me to fall. If I walk off... Instant. <laughs> I don't know how you screw that up. <laughs> also, look how exciting this is. It's extremely dull. Eh. Like, painfully dull. Eh. But, like... I like these guys' pink suits, The pooping though. birds are probably the stupidest thing in the whole game. Yeah. Like, I mean, we haven't gotten far enough to really know... But the fact that they poop clearly like circles of human poop. Or like dog poo. Or dog poo. Like this This is a somebody who has never seen what bird poo looks like. No. Or maybe they drew white stuff and they're like, what is that? It looks like, it's, is that semen? Like, no, 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 it's, that's poo. Yeah, it might have just like looked weird as like swatches. So now are you now you're standing on a wall or something, right? Like, yeah, no, no. See, now, yeah, I'm walking on a bridge. What's it's foreground? It's just changed perspective slightly. What's foreground? What's background? Uh... I'm not even sure. And this is like... Oh, this is straight out of the book. Like, I'm, I have to imagine that at some point in the book that he got hit with a clod of dirt and was complaining about cats or something like that. Like, like the detail they've gone into to get the graphics to like... Look like something. So now you have to somehow do something here. In the backwards section where you're going backwards, remember something has to happen. So don't forget to do something. There's a way of getting past these things. Ah, God, there's two of them on the same... Pixel. There you go. It's game and, over. And then you get hit, and then you continue just for a second. Yeah, that, that is a bit weird. 
Sorry, when I say a bit weird, I mean stupid. So the only defense I can really give against this game, uh, compared to Amagon, is that, it, like, at least I have the feeling that there's something we're missing. Yeah. Like, there, like there's enough work being put into the graphics themselves. This game obviously had an I- oh, okay. One hit now? I guess. This game had an idea. Yeah, and there's some nice animation. Like, the animation kind of makes a limited amount of sense. And, like, this stuff is kind of cool. Yeah, this part here is actually These more- These brains are bullshit, but other than that, nice. I think you can't And the punching them. actually, like, like, this is the weird thing, because, like, with the stick, it's such delayed and sticky, like, oh, they couldn't figure out how to get the stick to work properly. But the fist is nice. The, yeah, the fist feels right. I think you're supposed to, can I try this one more time? Because yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a bit of a short, a yeah, short go play. Ahead. And I'm still hanging myself with the uh, game. Because I'm enjoying way. myself so much. Yay! Video games are fuck! It's, it's here to save your life. You probably shouldn't jump, because I'm pretty sure you go a lot slower while jumping. Wait, let's time this. How were you? What were you? <laughs> what were you even timing there? I was being very scientific, Blake. I'm sure you still understand. What? I've never seen you duck before. It looks very odd. It looks like he's looking for something specific. Where really is my spectacles? My spectacles. My what? spectacles what? have fallen. Where have my spectacles gone? Oh, is it over here? Where is it? Is it over here? I must have put them somewhere. Oh, goodness me! <laughs> you know that 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 obtuse. American. Eh, fellow uh, ben Franklin. Benjamin Franklin discovered these wonderful spectacles that I've been using and to look at far things and, and close things. And the, uh, <sighs> See, right. I feel like I can get through this section better than you can, but I can't seem to get past the first enemy in the screen, so perhaps that's a misnomer. I think it's actually hard for a regular audience member to tell just how impossible this game is to control. Yeah, because you can watch this game. Whoa! You go, you go he that. threw four that time. Well, yeah, he's the boss. That guy's hardcore. Ah, dog! So maybe the coins are in these enemies, and which means that if you miss, like, the wrong one, then you're just, like, fucked. You can't win. I, oh, I think the coins... Oh, I got some... I got something back. I got some health back. <gasps> Am I supposed to kill these guys and get health back? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I got some health back again. So okay. he's... These guys can only be... I think... I think what happens... I said in a very strange voice is like you get hit and you lose life up at the top yeah did i die never has any game made you go did i die <laughs> so many times yeah is that no. i think that's like if you kill enough enemies you get your health back the graphics are nice and there's some nice set pieces and i like that it keeps changing as you go but the chunkiness of the movement against like the scrolling and the, and the fact that the game is impossible, but also doesn't make any sense at all. It really doesn't make really any sense. It really doesn't. Well, at least we'll figure this part out. You have to kill the brains to get your sanity back. I guess. So that's like a metaphor. There's all this rape in this version, though. I can't seem to hit them. And you can't punch backwards. No. So you have to kill a certain number of them, and I think you get a... Because it's actually, if you notice, it's not... W if you come in contact with them while you're in the middle of your punching animation, they actually have to hit your fist pixel. Yes. Which is... What the fuck is that thing doing? And then, yeah, it, it makes you jump in this very, very odd way. When you have to be this precise... What, what was... What is the bullet... Why is there a bullet angel? What is there a gun angel to this? Um... I don't know how I... I really don't know how I died that... I mean, I know I died. I don't know what happened to Trent... Like, I did... Can anyone... Can... Ah! Okay. Oh! So, Jekyll and Hyde, Hyde, Jekyll and Hyde. versus Amagon. I don't know. Versus... Ah! ah! For the verdict. <laughs> well, we're back. <laughs> Um, we just had a little bit of time playing a bit of Amagon and a yeah. little bit, a bit of some other game which I've now already forgotten. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, both games I find confusing and angry in different ways. <laughs> yes, totally. Um, uh, but we're here with my uh, my good friend Mark. That brings you these Welcome days. to the future, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to be presenting for you um, our two arguments. We each have about a minute. Yep. Um, at the end of that, 
uh, Mark will be providing his verdict as to which one of us provided the better defense for our stupid game that we hate. That makes us so unhappy. Alright, so Amagon, um, I, I gave a lot of shit of it when we were playing it, but it has some really good bright colors that really sort of accentuate the sort of migraine-inducing atmosphere of the music that's just pounding into you. Okay, you know what? I can't do this. I can't. Okay, you know what? Amagon may be bad, but it's not as bad as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is an anglifying mess that doesn't bother to communicate anything. It put it doesn't even bother even explain the basic fundamentals of its own gameplay to you. It It's ugly, I'm back looking now. at it hurts my eyes. It's slow, it's clunky, things you do happen for no reason, nothing seems to make any sense at all. And it's, the mechanics are totally opaque, you can't possibly understand what's happening. I've played the game for cumulatively, commu I played the game for hours and I still do not understand the basic ways the game works. It feels awful, looks awful and it's just an infuriating mess of something that should be very good. simple. I also do did not like this game. Uh, it's, it is very confusing. It's not clear at all what you're supposed to do and it has almost no logic to it. I want to like it because it's got like nice textured graphics that really take you back in time to the 19th century um, and it seems great until a bird drops human poop on you. I mean this literally happens in the game. Um, but here's what I my thing about Amagon. Amagon mm, is yeah. impossible. Well, yeah. <laughs> Amagon is impossible. Um, there's I mean there's so many questions like why do you have a hard limit on how much ammo you have for the entire game throughout all of your lives with no continues? Um, why are there enemies that do nothing that swoop down and can't possibly hit you and you can't hit them? Why are they even there? The game is unpredictable, it's full of bosses that are either like a couple hits or totally impossible depending on what power up you have, and the levels are interchangeable, but you'll never get through all the levels because in Amagon, there's no way to win the game, you're just going to die. It is so hard, it makes you want to throw the Nintendo and hold the still, hold, still holding onto the controller. So, so now Mark, it's up to you. Whether you <laughs> like the existential despair more, or of Jekyll and Hyde, or whether you're going to like the... Uh, agonizing, incredibly difficult gameplay of Amagon. It's a debate about the purpose of video games, really, um, and this has changed over time. Is the video game a harsh taskmaster, which uh, which uh, challenges you to do difficult things and uh, makes you rise above your baser self, ascend your, essentially, um, animal nature? Mm -hmm. Or is it an interlocutor by which one discovers uh, something about the self or the essential nature of the universe, uh, that type of thing? Yeah. I'm reminded of, uh, of uh, an experimental German film, the name of which I can't remember at the moment, but it was um, it was about the uh, nature of life in the Weimar Republic. The director felt that by making a film that was conventionally entertaining and had a narrative structure, he would be doing a disservice to his themes of, of drudgery and dreariness. Might not, then, the existential despair inherent in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde be in service of a greater theme? No, no, I, I think it is just nonsense. You take a, a sip of Hemingway's lemonade here, just really quick. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, I always got to say that the, the game that's based on some kind of license is likely worse. So I'm going to have to say that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is worse in this case. No! Oh, yeah! I had to look at which one of us was arguing for what there. I, I, forgot, I also forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, I, 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 I'd forgotten as well. <laughs> all right, I think I won. <laughs> well, well, I mean, we're all winners. Uh, we're all winners. I think, actually, I think we all... the real winner, I think we could argue, is the YouTube viewer. I think so. I think we all learned something today. I think I lost knowledge, actually. <laughs> just experiencing this has made me not, not stupider. I'm just as intelligent as I was, but I actually have less knowledge. For instance, I don't know how to spell Amazon anymore. You're more ignorant. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, for, for spreading uh, ignorance, uh, we want to say thanks to Mark. Uh, Mark, we'll have to bring you again in some time, probably in the same outfit. Um, <laughs> uh, and do you guys think we came to the right conclusions? Did we provide even the right arguments? Um, if you want to leave a comment or um, just yell at us across the street, we're, we're receptive, uh, no matter how incoherent you are. Yeah. Um, also, uh, if you have a game, a couple of games you want to see head to head, let us know in the uh, comments, Facebook, Twitter. Um, you can write it on your penis. We'll probably see it in, in, in due time. And once again, although you might want to use shorthand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's another thing I usually say here, but I've forgotten it. So, till so next bye. time. Bye.